Is it on? Yeah, start whenever you're ready. It's recording from that camera up there. Alright. Hey, folks. I'm Mike. This is my partner, Dave. Hey! We're part of your local civil protection team, and with Halloween coming up, we're here to talk to you about some safety issues. That's right. Now, the first thing we'd like to cover is vandalism. It always goes up around Halloween because young people are out causing trouble, and there's only so much we can do about it. But there's one thing we'd really like to focus on, and that's mailbox bombs. Not only are these illegal, but they're simply dangerous. Yeah, Mike's not kidding. You can get your hands blown off if you do it wrong and don't know the stress levels of the container you're using. That too. It's a felony. You're destroying government property. Just don't do it. Oh yeah. And what you especially shouldn't do is take a two liter bottle of chlorine that contains sodium hypochlorate and then mix it with some sugar and water, because then you're just asking for trouble. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad point, but uh... Maybe we should, you know, not tell him how to make bombs in the first place? I don't think that's what the sergeant had in mind when he asked us to make this video. Well, we don't want anybody making one by accident. I don't think that's likely. But, uh, moving along. One thing we need to mention. If you go trick-or-treating, great. But if you go to anybody's house where they answer the door naked, please call us immediately. Now, you may think they're just playing a joke or acting a little weird, but no. It never amounts to anything good. We find that's usually just the tip of the iceberg with these people. Oh, man. Like the Arbuckle residence, where we went in the basement and found those three dead Shut teeth. up, Dave. Okay, next item is fireworks. Now, you wouldn't think this would be an issue around this time of year, but we definitely get some related injuries, so be careful. Yeah, and keep it reasonable, guys. Because if you dissolve styrofoam and gasoline, then you have napalm. And then there's no end to the kind of hell you can raise with that stuff. Man, what are you doing? What? You just told them how to make napalm. I didn't even know how to do that. Well, it's bad news. If that stuff gets on you while it's burning, it's not coming off. So then why tell them how to make it, genius? Don't give me your crap. This is a lot better than your idea about werewolf attack prevention. But that's important! Hey, we're still recording, guys. Mike, that's retarded. Hey, shut up! My cousin got bit a few years ago by- Oh, what now? Now we have to start over! Damn it, we're never gonna finish this thing. I thought you said nobody was supposed to be coming in here! They're not. We have permission to be here. It's scheduled and everything. Yeah, we hear ya! Just hold on a minute! Do you hear this crap? Who the hell is this? If this is some drug, I'm arresting them. I don't care how much it delays the end of my shift. Okay, okay! What's so friggin' important? <laughs> 